This is my ladder hoist that I've used all year. Um, I have it in the shop, getting ready to do some maintenance on it. It's had a lot of use, so I've been uh, main, uh, putting a WD-40 on a lot of the moving parts. gets exposed to the weather a lot so it gets kind of rusty use these angle irons just for bracing to make a make it hang on the ladder it's a 32 foot ladder that I bought this piece of plywood I had bolted right onto there. You can see the bolt holes. The uh, Some of the bolts wore out. You can see they snapped when I took it off. We have this cable. It runs the full length onto a bar. Quarter inch. Actually it's thinner than that. It's probably like three sixteenths mounted a, a shiv to the top and then a cable it came with the motor let's set this down for a second you can see the motor it's it's come loose a little bit so I've got to tighten that up These motors are really nice. They, uh, you can get them at Harbor Freight or uh, any place like that. It's kind of like a positive lock once you stop the motor so it doesn't drop. Um, it's so tight. Hundreds of sheets of plywood up this thing, uh, hundreds of squares of shingles. It's just a really great addition to what I do. Also, have tires mounted so that when you're out on the job site, you can wheel it around. It works real well. There's some U bolts. Another another piece of angle iron down here, but the U bolts underneath. Just tighten those up. On that side, Got to spray those down with WD forty. Because again, they get it rains typically on the job, so. I have to do tighten that up a little bit more. But you can see that tightens it up really well. The uh, these sections were made from the other half of this ladder. It's a uh, Type Three ladder, I believe. Looking for for what it says, but it's a half of a 32 foot ladder, so you can get 16 feet in height. One other thing, I'm just trying to touch base. You have to cut out this top rung so that the cable and the shiv and all of these parts fit in there. And I just cut. Cut this section, mount it, and then another section about three feet long, I'd say. And I mount these little bolts, and uh, those help it to ride. It goes really smoothly. I'll put um, 
five or six bundles of shingles on here. I'm going to put a new piece of plywood on. Plywood seems to work pretty well so it doesn't slip and slide around when you're putting things up the ladder hoist. It really saves a ton of manual labor. The motor, uh, I can't remember, I think it's $150 or so. The ladder for both sections was a couple hundred dollars.